Simon, you're one of our newly elected councillors. I, last year you were canvassing very strongly for a yes vote. How is it different this year being a councillor, public representative? Well, I think there's an onus on myself and all public representatives in Fine Gael to really get out and sell the treaty. I think that's where the, the downfall of the last Lisbon referendum came, that maybe an awful lot of public representatives didn't get out there and do as much as we now have to do. And as a result, an awful lot of myths and misinformation got out there about Lisbon, myths on neutrality, abortion, tax rates, this sort of issue. And I mean, now we have legal guarantees to debunk these myths, if you like. So all of a sudden, a lot of the concerns that people had in the last Lisbon referendum, I think, have been taken off the table. And it's actually very hard to think of a reason why people would vote no now, um, particularly in light of the current economic climate, in light of the urgent need for a national programme of recovery. Lisbon is our first opportunity to actually bring this about. I think, certainly from where I'm standing, we all want to get this government out. People want Fianna Fáil out. People have no faith in Brian Cowan. They've no faith in Brian Lenehan. And our day will come to do that, hopefully sooner rather than later. But in in the meantime, Lisbon is a positive step that we can take towards economic recovery. And people have to ask, what will be the consequences if we vote no again? And people also have to ask, what is the rationale for voting no? I'm still meeting people who are voting no based on reasons that clearly aren't in the treaty. So our job over the next number of weeks is going to be to get out there and sell the treaty and get people to vote based on the content of the treaty and the implications it'll have on this country, rather than lies and propaganda put out there. Also, it's worth noting that every single group opposing the Lisbon Treaty have opposed every single referendum. You know, they say they're pro-European, but they're just against Lisbon. But they were also against Nice, they were against Maastricht, they were against everything. If these people had their way, we wouldn't be in the European Union. I think if you look at the the, the massive pan, pan party, pan organisation support for the Lisbon Treaty, I think you can see that it clearly has to be in Ireland's best interest. And I'm looking forward to vigorously canvassing in, in my constituency in Greystones and throughout Wicklow for a yes vote. And uh, I look forward to be joined by young Fine Gael. And I think today is the start. And I think this poster really sums it up. You know, when you see the amount of young people in this country unemployed and the amount of people unemployed already, we have to do something positive. And putting Ireland back at the heart of Europe and re-establishing ourselves there is, is the next best possible step we can take. As you said, you represent Greystones in County Wicklow, which has a very high number of young people. Mm -hmm. On a personal level, what would you say to those people in your constituency of why to vote yes? What would it matter to their area? Well, I think the first thing I'd say to my constituents is it's very important that people get familiar with this treaty. There's no reason why people can't find out what's in the treaty. There's great resources out there on the web. Um, there's great resources available from Fine Gael and Young Fine Gael about what is actually in the treaty. So take the time to familiarise yourself with the treaty and what's in the treaty so people are sure what they're actually voting for, rather than listening to the misinformation that I would say is coming from, from the no side. I think my, people living in my constituency are paying high mortgages in many cases. They're losing their jobs. They're, they're trying to get access to education. We have an awful lot of issues and these people basically need Europe. We need Europe. If you look at what Europe has done for younger people, it has opened up markets, it's enabled us to travel from one country to the next, it's brought us into the Eurozone where we have a common currency, it's helped bring inward investment into this country. And do we really want to jeopardise this based on the arguments of a group of people who've always opposed our involvement in the European Union? I mean, look at, look at who is asking you to vote yes and, and ask would you rather trust these people or would you rather actually look at a group of people that have opposed our involvement in Europe from day one? And I think really that's it. And I certainly look forward to getting out on the doorsteps and selling that message in County Wicklow. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you.